Hello everyone <clears throat> and welcome to uh, my first video about uh, obscure things of Google Analytics are. Um, and I say obscure but I mean maybe some people are using this but some people are not and uh, I'm just going to do some things which I think are useful. So um, the first thing I want to try is uh, talk about is auto authentication um, and why would you want to do this? Well maybe you're just bored, you don't want to uh, type GA off all the time um, and you're always doing the same thing, you're always uh, the same user on the same computer and things like that. So um, it just makes that a lot more smoother and get up and running quicker. Another more um, uh, useful uh, usage is the, the scheduled scripts. Uh, if you're running scheduled scripts on the server or your local computer, then um, sometimes the script can think it's running in a different folder than what you think, so the authentication goes all crazy. So um, if you run the uh, auto authentication, then you always know that it's going to look in the same place for authentication. It makes it all a bit easier. Um, and probably the most um, pertinent reason is that you need to secure your authentication token. You shouldn't be sharing this token around because anyone who has that token could have access to your data. So um, uh, a good way to secure that is to keep it outside of the folder that you're working in. Um, in case you share that folder with someone, you put it on GitHub or email them or something like that. So keeping your authentication token outside of your uh, working directory is a good thing in general uh, and just keeps it more secure. So how do you do it? Um, well, basically uh, Google Analytics R is set up so that it's it's looking for a um, environment, R environment variable, and somewhere in the code is it's looking for this environment variable called GA underscore auth underscore file. And you can see at the moment there's nothing in there, so <clears throat> when I load Google Analytics now it won't find it and just sort of default to the normal thing. So your basic mission is to fill this environment uh, with the file location of your uh, of your authentication file. And you can generate that uh, authentication file like you would do normally. Um, you can use GA auth. Um, or you can use, um, if say you are authenticating with lots of APIs at the same time, um, such as Search Console R or something like that, then you may want to use Google Auth R, G A R Auth, which will um, give you a more sort of generic authentication token. Or you might be using a JSON service file um, and you've added that email to your accounts. But however you do it, basically at the end of the day, you're going to generate a file. Um, so in this case, I'm going to name the file. Um, so I'm going to specify the file here. Uh, I should load the library. Just... <clears throat> okay, so and when you do, um, you might have seen this already, but when you don't have anything up, it does give you this uh, little message prompting you maybe you should be uh, doing an authentication here. Um, so if we actually make the... So I'm just going to authenticate off screen here. <clears throat> Okay, and now you can see that we've generated a GA off uh, file, such as here, and that's the file that we're going to share and move into another directory. So if we get our working directory, this will obviously be different for your computer versus mine. On Windows, that will start with C, colon, uh, forward slash, forward slash, things like that. Um, but this is useful just to sort of see where you are, and usually when we're talking about the home directory, it's usually this bit at the start, users mark. Now, the, I find the easiest way to uh, find that is if you click on home on the R Studio. So if you go there, then this is your home directory. So if we just set that as our working directory, and we get that, you can see that is my home directory. Um, and the reason we want to do that is that we want to create an R environment file. So and our environment file is another way of uh, setting your environment files. Um, there are other ways. If you want to sort of see more detail, then Startup <clears throat> has all of the details. This is where I've kind of gleaned it from, but it, it is a bit notoriously obscure, but it's all there. Um, so you can kind of see the order of how it does it. But um, basically, this is the best way to do it. Uh, you go to text file and then you save that in your uh, home directory as dot r environ and it'll give you a little warning saying uh, are you sure you want to do that yes you are you want to push on so um, 
And then in this file, we're going to call it, um, yeah, so we need a, a location to specify. So for that one, I have set up a, uh, let me see, how do I set that up? No, so I'm just going to make a uh, off demo folder down here. So this is going to be where I set up my um, uh, cache file. So I'm going to move my cache file into that. So uh, yeah, let's just find that. <coughs> yeah. So in my uh, where I've generated the file that I wanted to do, I'm now going to move that <coughs> to uh, location where I want it to be. And in Macintosh, I could just go home off demo. Let's move in there. So now that that's in this uh, home home thing there. So the actual location of that will be my home home folder and then the folder I call it off the name, I call it off, and then the actual name of the file like that. So that's the uh, and you can sort of do a file exists of that <coughs> just to double check that you've got it in the right place. And then you need to set that in your .r environment file here. So now that is set. Um, and if we now, you have to restart your R session for it to take effect, because that's, uh, that's how they all work. And now if we load Google Analytics R, hopefully, yeah, we get this sexually authenticated. And it sort of tells you where it's authenticating from, so you know what's going on. And just to sort of prove that, we'll just uh, do some note. We haven't authenticated the GA off or anything, but we're still getting data from that. Um, and that's um, and that's it. Hopefully, that's uh, easy enough for people to do it. And let me know if there's any questions. All right, cheers. Bye.